repayment plan variable repayment plan and future repayment plan okay in today's lecture we are going to learn about calculations on different repayment plan okay so in this lecture we see how to prepare different types of repayment plan we see one by one these different types of repayment plan so first example that is it is on partial repayment plan so question may be asked in your practical that is prepared partial repayment plan from following data so this data first one loan amount it is rupees 10000 rate of interest it is 12% and time period it is 6 year from this data you have to prepare partial repayment plan okay so we see how to prepare this partial repayment plan so first of all partial repayment plan the definition of partial repayment plan that means in partial repayment plan the entire loan amount is divided partially over the year okay that means in this partial repayment plan initial installment or initial installments are smaller as compared to larger installment that means at the end of repayment period there is larger installment paid so we call it as balloon repayment plan okay so here the solution so as per the definition of partial repayment plan so previous some installment are smaller and last that is at the end of maturity of this particular repayment plan there is larger installment is paid so we divide the principal amount that is 1000 rupees in each year up to 5 year and at the end we can repay the 5000 in lump sum okay so instead of 1000 rupees we can take the principal amount of 900 rupees or 1100 rupees or 1100 rupees for calculation i take this 1000 rupees so after distribution of this principal amount next step that is calculation of interest installment okay so next step is calculation of interest so for first year you have to calculate the interest on total 10000 rupees so 10000 into 12 divided by 100 we get this interest for first year okay then next one that is installment so this installment is nothing but the summation of principal amount plus interest okay summation of principal plus interest is equal to installment next one that is remaining balance or balance amount at the end of first year so out of total 10000 rupees total loan amount we already pay the 1000 as a installment amount so remaining balance for first year is 10000 minus first year principal amount we get 9000 balance amount at the end of first year okay after that next for second year similarly for second year calculate the interest on first year's balance amount that is 9000 so 9000 into 12 divided by 100 we get the interest of second year okay then principal uh, sorry installment amount for second year it is principal plus interest is equal to installment for second year then balance amount for second year so uh, in second year we uh, paid the 1000 rupees so subtract the 9000 sorry subtract the 1000 rupees from this first year remaining balance amount we get second year remaining balance that is 9000 minus 1000 we get second year balance amount after that calculation of third year so in case of third year we already pay the 1000 as a principal amount then calculate interest for third year so interest is calculated on third year that is on 8000 rupees into 12 divided by 100 we get the interest for third year then installment so this installment is the principal plus interest amount we'll get installment then next remaining balance for third year so in third year we paid 
the one thousand rupees as a principal amount. So subtract one thousand rupees from this eight thousand rupees. We get this seven thousand rupees at the end of third year. Similarly, calculate the all the interest and installment amount and balance amount for next three years. We get this. total repayment plan that means at the end of this 6 year there is nil balance so total loan amount is 10000 rupees then interest paid is 5400 rupees and total installment amount is 15400 rupees okay this is the first that is partial repayment plan okay after that next one that is amortized decreasing repayment plan so question that is prepared amortized decreasing repayment plan from following data so loan amount is 10000 interest 12% and time period is 6 year so we can prepare the amortized decreasing repayment plan from this information so first of all we See the amortized decreasing repayment plan. So, in case of amortized decreasing repayment plan, principal amount remains constant for the loan repayment period. So, first of all, we calculate the constant principal amount. So, total principal amount will be ten thousand, and total loan period is of six year. So, we get principal amount for each year. That means this ten thousand principal amount can be divided. into this 6 year after that next step that is calculation of interest similarly for first year calculate the interest on 10000 rupees that is 10000 into 12 divided by 100 we get interest of first year then installment it is the summation of principal amount plus interest we get installment and last one that is remaining balance so subtract this 1,666.67 from this 10,000 rupees, we get first year remaining balance that is 8,333.3 rupees. Okay. Similarly, calculation for second year, that is principal amount is remains constant, so it is same. Then calculate interest for second year. So for calculation of interest for second year. That is, it is calculated on eight three three point thirty three into twelve divided by hundred. We get this interest amount. Okay, so interest can be calculated on eight thousand three hundred thirty three point thirty three into twelve divided by hundred. We get interest of second year. Then. principal amount plus interest we get the installment amount for second year that is 1666.67 plus 999.99 is equal to 2666.66 it is the total installment for second year then next one that is calculation of balance amount for second year so subtract this 1666.67 from first year remaining balance that is 8333.33 okay that means subtracting 833.33 minus 1666.67 we get second year remaining balance that is 6666.67 okay similarly calculate the interest and installment amount for third year so for third year calculate interest amount on 66 that is 6666.67 into 12 divided by 100 we get the interest of third year then interest plus principal we get installment amount and the remaining balance for third year subtract this 1066 sorry 1666.67 from this 6666.67 we get remaining balance for third year similarly after calculation of all this 6 year we get the 
amortized decreasing repayment plan according to definition of amortized decreasing repayment plan the installment amount remains constant throughout the loan repayment period and interest part is decreases continuously so the installment part is also decreases continuously this is the amortized decreasing repayment plan here the total principal amount is 10000 rupees whereas interest is 4199.96 rupees whereas total installment that is principal plus interest amount which is equal to 14199.96 okay this is the second repayment plan that is amortized decreasing repayment plan